All right, I'll be painting the, the smokestack for you. I'm trying to fabricate one, but I may end up just either giving you this one or but we'll see. But yeah, you're going to get a smokestack because it's important. That's part of the mechanism. But anyways, so I'll be pausing it throughout the video. But basically, we have some curly cues. Give me a second. Okay, so it's gonna light. So you can see the um So there's curly cues under there and I did the log cabin. And that's just with kindling right now. So we'll get the kindling going. You can always see. So there's secondary burn tubes that are in there, and that brings outside air, so when you have the door closed, it'll continue to burn. And there's also holes underneath that also help with the ventilation. Um, but that's what those holes are for. Those are the secondary burn tubes. Okay, we'll give that a second. So one of the main things you're looking for one thing that tells you that this is set up right is that there's no smoke billowing out the front. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot. Not until it warms up, the pipe will warm up and it'll create this vacuum. But um, I made some earlier ones where, you know, it didn't matter what I did, it'd be just smoke. Every time you open the door, it'd just <laughs> blow out. So, as you can hear, it start to fire up there. So, let me turn my light off so that you can see what it looks like. So, there it is. It's an entirety, or, you know. Hold on a second. Okay, so. so, that's me with my lights completely off. It's pitch, pitch black. Dark out here right now. Of course, my camera's not focusing. Kinda. Of. Having a tough time. There are some holes in the bottom, so if you want, I can make you a small little uh, hearth pad, you know, a little concrete pad, to so that the ashes fall on. You know, if you if you if that's what you want. I mean, otherwise, it can, the ashes can fall on the dirt, and it's actually good for dirt. You probably know that it has all kinds of benefits to it being put into the soil. Um, but you can hear it going. There's no flames yet. But it'll it'll shoot out the top of the smokestack. So let's see what it looks like when you... And then sometimes this thing, you get it so hot, this whole thing will glow. You know, and again, I remember I was telling you that this thing gets really hot. So you might want to tell people who may be opening this thing to not touch the handle with their hands when it's going. You know, take a little stick and uh, just kind of lift it up. It's only because there's a lot of wood up towards the front. That's why the flames are kind of coming out a little bit from the front. But eventually,
eventually the uh, you know all of that dies down and becomes coals and and uh, it's really nice. So like right now the temperature out here I think is hold on let me check. Okay, so it's not super cold tonight. It's only uh, 48.3. But yesterday it was 36 degrees when I was making that thing. All right, so obviously the flames came out and blackened it up, but I'll be throwing another coat of paint on there. Right now, at least, this is going to bake the paint on there pretty good. Um, I think this paint resists up to 1,200. Is it? Okay. Nothing. It'll resist up to uh, 1,200 degrees. Oh, man, I should take this bucket away. Oh, it's getting hot right now. No, not yet. It's going to start melting, but... Uh, the paint will resist up to 1200 degrees. Now this little wood burning stove will reach, you know, eight, 800 degrees, you know, roughly. So it does get hot, but not enough to bake, you know, to you know, burn that paint off. At least I don't think so. So we're gonna find out for sure. But anyways, let me turn off the light. There it is there. Right now it's cracked open, I think. No, it's fully, fully closed, so you can see that's the, uh, Locking the because remember when it's hot though you don't want to touch that you know unless you have a glove on or you know your hands are really cold and they've been in water or something like that even then you you, you don't want to touch it grab a stick just lift it up same thing when you're closing this is one of my earlier designs so anyways um, but yeah, I don't know if you, you probably can't see the heat papers yet but maybe you can see them on the ground Anyways, like right now, it is cold. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. It's not super cold, but it's still cold out here. And uh, you know, I can stand. And the cool thing is that this smokestack gets nice and hot. So you put your body next to it, and man, it just radiates the heat out. And so I can stand, uh, you know, more than an arm's length away. I'm, Yeah, like right now, maybe, I don't know, six feet away, and I can feel that heat.